I'm Deanna. I'm a Quality System Program Manager. At, with the implementation of the Master Control Quality Excellence Tool, I would give it a 5 out of 5. For more reviews like this, please click below. We were a new company that opened up and we actually had no paper or no tools. We only had a paper tool. Prior to us opening up, I actually worked at the same site for a large organization that used another quality tool called TrackWise. However, the TrackWise tool wasn't integrated with other tools such as Document Control, which was Agile, and Training, which was a TED's administration system training. So when we went to look for implementation, we wanted one tool where it was all connected instead of being separate tools. When we went to look for implementation of uh, selecting a software, we looked at multiple companies and we were really looking for something that was fairly easy to implement and that was integrated between document controls, change controls, training, and other QMS tools that we would be implementing. And um, this tool seemed to be the most in line with the regulatory requirements that we needed to comply with and it seemed to be fairly simple in the implementation. During the implementation planning phase, we had to do a lot of cleanup of our own data. So most of our time was spent organizing our master data and then being able to populate it into the spreadsheets for the upload. So the actual upload was fairly quick. We spent about 12 months cleaning up our data and we spent about eight weeks from the point of being able to upload our data to completing the entire validation and go live. And we did this between Thanksgiving and Christmas, and it worked out fantastic. One of the recommendations I would have is to make sure that your terminology is aligned between what Master Control uses for terminology and what you use in your business. For example, the use of deviations. That means something different to different organizations. So Take the time to really make sure that you understand those concepts and those words that they're using so that when you go to structure your data, it aligns with how they are planning on using that module and using that data. That will save you a great amount of um, difficulties that you may experience after implementation, and we had a few of those because of terminology issues. Always able to work through them, but we could have been more effective in implementation if we would have uh, made sure that we understand the terminology.